In December 2019 there was a cluster of pneumonia cases in China. Investigations found that it was caused by a previously unknown virus now named the 2019 novel coronavirus. In this video we'll take a quick look at what's currently known about the virus. Coronaviruses are a large group of viruses. It resembles the appearance of a crown, crown in Latin is called corona. And that's how these viruses get their name. There are different types of coronaviruses. However there are some types of coronaviruses that can cause severe disease. These include the severe acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus first identified in China in 2003 and the Middle East respiratory syndrome coronavirus that was first identified in Saudi Arabia in 2012. The 2019 novel coronavirus was first identified in China. It initially occurred in a group of people with pneumonia who'd been associated with a seafood and live animal market in the city of Wuhan. The disease has since spread from those who were sick to others including family members and healthcare staff. There are many cases at present and the disease has spread within China and also to a number of other countries with up to 2 million cases reported so far. So where did the virus come from? It's known that coronaviruses circulate in a range of animals. Sometimes these viruses can make the jump from animals to humans. This is called a spillover and could be due to a range of factors such as mutations in the virus or increased contact between humans and animals. For example MERS-CoV is known to be transmitted from camels and SARS-CoV from civet cats and the 2019 novel coronavirus started from bats. How is it transmitted? The viruses are usually transmitted through droplets created when an infected person coughs or sneezes or through something that has been contaminated with the virus people most at risk of infection from the novel coronavirus are those above 50 years of age, those who came in close contact with already infected patients and those who have underlying medical conditions. So how does the disease present? Well from what is known so far there can be a number of symptoms ranging from mild to severe. There can be fever and respiratory symptoms such as cough and shortness of breath in more severe cases. There's been pneumonia leading to multiple organ failure and ultimately death. The mortality rate is around 6.3%. The infection can be diagnosed by a test called PCR or polymerase chain reaction. This test identifies the virus based on its genetic fingerprint. There is currently no specific medication for the virus and treatment is supportive care. There's currently no vaccine to protect against the virus treatment and vaccines are in development. How do we prevent transmission of the virus? There are a number of standard hygiene practices that have been recommended to protect against infection and further spread. These include covering your mouth and nose when coughing or sneezing with a medical mask tissue or flexed elbow. Practicing social distancing. The appropriate use of masks and personal protective equipment especially in a healthcare setting. Washing hands regularly with soap and water or alcohol-based hand rub. Avoiding unnecessary unprotected contact with animals. Washing hands after contact with animals or animal products and ensuring that animal products are cooked thoroughly before they're consumed. It's important to stay home if you're feeling unwell but if you have a fever cough and difficulty breathing. Seek medical care early and share your previous travel history with your health care provider. That's a quick look at this emerging infectious disease known as coronavirus.